Hi guys, I'm back with another chemical synthesis video today. So today I'm going to make some sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is the same as household bleach. So I'll be using this table salt or sodium chloride to get sodium hypochlorite or bleach. So the process I'm going to use is the electrolysis of sodium chloride. So here in this beaker you can see I have some sodium chloride solution already prepared and here I have this 9 volt energizer battery so for this reaction I want to make sure that the salt is not iodized you can see here this is not same as the table salt or the iodized salt you use the reason I don't want iodized salt is because that has some other ions except sodium and chloride it would have iodide potassium and it can also have calcium from anti-caking agents so I don't want those other impurities to interfere in this reaction so this is nearly pure sodium chloride in this electrolysis reaction I'll be using these carbon electrodes these are graphite rods that I retrieved from dissecting dry cells so you can check out my video on dissecting a dry cell so the red one will be the anode or the positive terminal and the black one would be the cathode or the negative terminal so you can notice the bubbles of gases around the electrodes that tells us the reaction has started so in the solution we have water and sodium chloride right so at the a node chlorine gas is released and at the cathode hydrogen gas is released thirdly around the cathode sodium hydroxide is formed which makes the solution a little basic now if I want to test the pH of the solution so you can see it's quite neutral right now but if I test it near the cathode you can see this purple color it tells us it's the sodium hydroxide near the cathode being produced that makes it alkaline so in order to form bleach now we need to do a second reaction in this these electrodes are a little apart from each other so I'll move this anode near the cathode so the second reaction that takes place here is between the chlorine gas from the anode and the sodium hydroxide in the solution so the two will react to make sodium hypochlorite or bleach and other products like sodium chloride and water I want a low temperature much below 60 degrees Celsius in order to prevent the formation of sodium chlorate from sodium hypochlorite so it looks like a significant amount of reaction has occurred and we should have some bleach in here so I'll stop the reaction now so now if I want to test the pH of this solution you can see here it is slightly green which tells us this is basic and that is because of the bleach or the sodium hypochlorite and if you carefully observe this for some time you can see some decolorization on this paper and that is because of bleach so that is a test that this solution has bleach formed in it also I have some pH papers from a previous reaction so you can see here like these are decolorized also you must be observing in this beaker that there are a lot of suspended impurities in here which do not dissolve in here and I would say that this is probably from some impurities in the table salt that could be some anti-caking agent that brought these impurities and I also suspect these could be from the tap water probably the tap water may have calcium and magnesium ions and they form hydroxides that precipitated in this solution so it could be anything so now you can see this pH strip has decolorized a lot more so now I can also do another test to confirm the formation of bleach here so in this test tube I have some hydrogen peroxide and bleach which is an oxidizing agent can reduce hydrogen peroxide to make oxygen gas and in fact this is a very interesting and violent reaction so I'll just put some here okay so you can see some effervescence 
the gas being released. So here you go. Hmm. So I see here that the reaction is not really vigorous and that's probably because our concentration of the bleach is not high enough. Another test we can do is testing the bleaching property of the sodium hypochlorite. So I have some coffee in this. So here you can observe that it has decolorized a little. So once again it tells us we made bleach using electrolysis of sodium chloride but its concentration is quite low and, and that actually makes me kind of curious to do another experiment on determining the concentration of this bleach solution. So this was about a method of making low concentration sodium hypochlorite from the electrolysis of sodium chloride. In fact electrolysis is a fantastic way to synthesize chemicals which cannot be made otherwise using just chemical reactions. You can check my another video on making cupric oxide from the electrolysis of sodium chloride with copper electrodes in the link below. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share.